This is a quick video to show you how to embed a voice thread, a Prezi, and an infographic in a Google website. So first of all, for example, let's start with a voice thread. On your voice thread, you click on the menu up there, go to embed, and then you have an embedded code right here. So you can copy this code, you can close that then. Then you go back on your Google website, you go into the edit mode, and then you have a button right here, the HTML button. You click on that, and you just paste your code right here. You can change the width and the weight of your voice thread if you want right here by changing those two numbers, and then just click update. Now, if we save that, we're going to see that a voice thread appears here. And it works. So, now for the Prezi, it's pretty much the same thing on your Prezi. Just click on the share button, then click on the embed link, and you have this code that appears. Here you can directly change the width and the weight of your Prezi if you want. Whenever you're done with that, just copy code to the clipboard. You can close that. Go back to your Google website. We're just going to add it on the same page for this website, for this example. So click on the HTML button again. Go down just to ignore all of that. And right in here, just paste your code. Click on update. Don't worry about that warning. You can just click OK and then save. And here we can see your Prezi shows up. Let's see if it works loading and yes it does work now for the infographic it, it is pretty different for me I, my infographic was a word document in the first place so what I did is that in the end I wanted to get an image out of it a picture because the image is really easy to add to a Google site so what I did if you have a Word document, I just saved it as a PDF. And I think it's the same thing if you've done your infographic into Publisher, for example. You can just save it as a PDF first. And the reason why we're doing that is because I found a website called pdf2jpeg.net that can, can actually convert a PDF in a JPEG, as it says. So here's our PDF. Then we click on Convert PDF to JPEG. Download your picture. And save it. One last step to do is maybe resize your picture. You can just do that in Paint, for example. So my picture is right here. I open it. So you have a resize here. My computer is actually in French, but it will say resize for you right here. You can resize on that. And for example, we can go 40% of the size on that one. Then you just save it, close that, go back to your Google site, get back into edit mode, we're just going to add it down there, then click on insert, an image, choose your file, here is our infographic and then just click on OK. 
and it shows up right here. The size looks pretty fine. So then you can just save. And here it is our embedded voice thread, Prezi, and infographic. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and thank you for watching this video.